Welcome to VCA Wrestling Lucha Libre. Let's get ready to rumble! Michael Clark jumps up from this, the 
face in this thing. Oh, I'm about to cry. Look at that. That arm drag kind of reminds me of Ricky Dragon Steamboat. Michael Clark picking Black Mamba Q back up on his feet. Ooh, look at that vicious shot right there. You know, Michael Clark would be a dangerous young man if he had a brain. Oh I promise he'll be dangerous. He might be dangerous right here. He's in a dangerous situation here. Isn't that funny? A snake fighting a snake. And yes, I mean Michael Clark is a snake the way he did the greatest on earth. We're looking slithering over the back of Q, rolling him up now. Oh. Takes him out, he's a drop kick. Car's on fire. Oh, what are we gonna do? Get some gasoline and throw it on? <laughs> That's a tight wrist lock applied on Q, very tight. Here comes Mr. Jarrett, Mr. Excitement. So the next dance for Jarrett X Rawlings. I like that we can trademark him and copyright and make some money. I like that. <laughs> I actually like Jarrett though. He's, he, he's doing pretty good, he's going somewhere. If, He's not without talent, he's just sadly misguided. He needs to be better choosing his friends. Someone who doesn't really have that many friends here. He's very successful. He's the very first ever BCA television champion is Tavis. There's the red shorts right there. You know, Tavis is my best friend. Was your best friend? Yeah. Malik. Like Q was, or no. Malik. Or? Malik's my big brother. Oh, right. There is a difference. Q, uh, Q was like a nephew. Tavis telling the referee to shut up. You heard what Tavis told you earlier. When you asked him, what, what, did he say shut up or did he What he told you I was his best friend. Did you hear that? Well, out of your own mouth? Yeah, I heard that. Out of your own mouth? You asked him, right? Mm -hmm. All right. And he gave you an answer. Don't get jealous, Spencer, that you don't have a best friend. Well, he's got my best friend is Tavis. I thought your best friend was Dwayne. Well, he's, you know. He's fine. What about Terry? Is she fine? <laughs> no, no comment on that. Yeah. Look at that. Tavis coming off the ropes here. Jumping over the back of Jared X. Rawlings. Jared jumping over him. Oh, look at that. Big roll. Nice athleticism show by both wrestlers. Look at this. High flying action. The junior made of division. No, I still think Jared can use a decent tan. Maybe he should go to Florida where Tavis lives at and get him a nice tan. Ooh, look at that dropkick landing right on him too. Double the impact. Only gets a two. Yeah, Jared is definitely devastating with those strikes from the foot area. Jared X Rawlings, really new to the game. That's the thing, he's new to the game, but Daniel Miraculous is not new to the game. Daniel yeah, Miraculous, one of the most experienced wrestlers in the VCA roster. So true, so true. And Daniel Miraculous knows how to work the mind. He can play those mind games and have Jared, you know, off his A game. Definitely knows how to get into your head. You know how to get into your head? And from what I hear from certain people, he knows how to get into their beds. <laughs> but that's his business. That is also part of the mind games there of Daniel Miraculous. Is it, is it right now, or it's the sound of you getting out of the tub, or oh. getting in the tub? Oh my goodness. Um, you like got to deal with this every week Like Norbit? Rasputin? Yeah. Say, is that right now, Sat? Oh my gosh. Or is it Tiny using the shower in the locker room? My goodness. How about Tank versus Daniel Miraculous? How about Tank versus the Black Mamba Q? And Q becomes the new BCA. Oh, well, you booked the match, so... Q loses this time, he's just gonna book him in another one too. He's your best friend, isn't he? I said Q is like my nephew. Malik's my big brother. Okay, I'm trying to come up with a family tree right now. Tabs is my best friend. Okay. Ooh, look at that. Let's get that shoulder. Tank, you know, I try to get along with Tank because we have to have a good business because he's my champion, he's my top dog, but Tank and I can't see, you know, work together and see eye to eye. He's very disrespectful. I've been having my good encounters with Tank personally. You know, I thank God that the Mississippi River is right there to separate Memphis and Arkansas because we can always ship his country but back over the river. Ooh, look at that power bomb there from Tank. But I think Tank is suffering a bit. Tank didn't get him all the way up there. Yeah, I think Tank was holding on to his eye. 
Dane Miraculous will call your side. He, he, he don't care. Big right arm strike there from Tank. That's Kelly Price. That, that, that sound system, that's Kelly Price. Thunder is erupting outside here in the VCA studio. Nice, nice. Uh oh. Dane Miraculous. VCA brings that thunder right here. Dane Miraculous is showing some tricks of his own. But Tank is back on his feet. Say it's not going to work. Oh, there's Jared Ben. <laughs> VCA heavyweight champion staring down the VCA junior beta champion. Jared, Jared's kind of being rude to Daniel. Thank God him. Look at that. Go to the hammerlock there. Yep. Nice lip lock. Oh, Daniel catches him by the head. Uh -oh. Whoa. Snap bear. Nice snap bear. Nice snap bear. Dame Rackle said, not this time. You might think you got me, but not this time. Look, I'm just waving at Tank. Looking over at Jared X Rawlings. Daniel said, let's go. Daniel said, you come here to wrestle, let's wrestle. Oh, look at that swing at Jared. Uh-oh, rep. Look at that. Come on, Number rep. one contender for the Junior Bandit Championship. Being restrained by the referee. Look at that. Kicked the gut by Tank. Going off the ropes here. Ooh, bicycle kick by Daniel. Reverses. It's out of the way. Look at that. Grabs the hand. Nice. Oh, goodness. Oh, look at that. Crucifix pin. Look at that two count. I thought it was over. We was going to start singing. I know it was the blood. Nice crucifix pin. All right, goodness. Yeah. Communion Sunday. I thought it was Communion Sunday. Look at the side splash between the heavyweight champion and the junior beta champion. Oh. I get a feeling for that Daniel Miraculous is starting to get very angry at Tank. He's starting to get off of his A game. Getting when, frustrated for sure. When you try to get revenge, it makes you reckless. Well, these men are pretty much toe-to-toe -to -toe as far as their skills in the wrestling ring. I know Daniel might be a little mad about that because Tank's experience is Daniel's experience. is night and day difference. You see Tank in the ring. Tavis in there to break things up. I like to see Tavis and Q knock the hell out of the referee. Just for entertainment, no, nothing, nothing else, nothing else. You know, I also like to see him get suspended. And where's that money go to again? You know, I'm the commissioner, find. so I can find them however much I want to. That's not your business. I mean, what's a two dollar fine to the Black Mamba Q? And Michael Clark is basically. Is that how much the fine is for hitting a referee? Two dollars? It's what I make it. Oh, okay. So it depends on who hits him. Yeah, in my discretion. Depends on the referee too, huh? No. Depends on what they all get at. it, right? Right, yeah, he's a smart ass. My goodness. Michael Clark has some deadly forearm shots. Don't say it, Smith. I'm like, you know personally, Mr. Bruce, don't you? Don't say it, Smith. You match the whole time. I think he hates me the most out of everybody here. I think I'm on Michael Clark? Yeah, I think right, I'm on Rightfully so. I think I'm on the top of his list that he's hate, he hates me the most. I think number two would probably be Tavis. Yeah. No, I, I thought know. number two would have been the Crown Prince. Well, that's number three. Since yeah, he's not here Michael no Clark's had quite a few uh, rivalries this past year. The thing about Michael Clark, I know Michael Clark. I know what he's capable of. And the thing about him is he got mad at me because I was trying to bring him to him, which I did. He became the champion, right? He wants champion. to put on his face and be, oh, I'm so happy. I love the fans. He doesn't get a fan of nobody but himself. And that right there, that attitude is what brought him to the top, though. You got a rear view? Yes, sir. <laughs> Black Mama Q picking Michael Clark up for that suplex. Perfectly done by the number one contender for the VCA Heavyweight Championship. Look at him staring in the eyes of Tank there. Tagging out of Tavis. Tavis going to the top. Oh. You're picking Michael up on his shoulders. Oh, my goodness. Oh, goodness. Look at that. That could be it. They need to break the... Break that could be it. No, Jared X. Rawlings in there to break things up. A doomsday center. I thought I seen it all. Or should we say a modified ladder, climbing up the ladder, whoopee cushion. <laughs> Look at this assault on the outside. Look at this. Ooh! Arch strike. 
Santa yeah. Miraculous. Wait a minute, Dale's not done. My goodness. Why are you sending that concrete floor? He needs to do the camel clutch. His back is ready for him. Tell him, Daniel. Tell him to do the camel clutch. Referee in position, going for the cover, only gets a two. He's about to break his back. The back's already sustained injury from the concrete floor. Oh, iron cheek. Oh, he's turning him over. Oh, he's, he's going to do it. Oh. He's going he's gonna to do it. He's going to do it. Oh, my goodness. He's going to break his back. Yeah, he's got him now. Elmo Clutch is going to tap out. Here comes Dane Morales. Tag there to Daniel. Daniel gets back in the ring. See how they're applying more pressure to their back? Watch the suplex. Double suplex there. If a man has a bad back, so you know yourself you can't stand. What woman wants a man with a bad back? You know personally. <laughs> Boy, do I. If you have a bad back, you can't stand. So Mark Clark has sustained a lot of damage to that back area. I mean, his back's not that big, but you know, he has a little bit. The smaller it is, the more it's gonna hurt. <laughs> I like your jokes, man. Look at that swinging neck breaker. That's it. I think he's gonna do spinal cord after this match. I got Constant impact on the back of his. That's where we need of a tag. He's over there in his half of the ring. Daniel changing that, putting him up in the turnbuckle pose. Good. The forearm strikes there. Oh, Clark reversing. Daniel crashing that turnbuckle, but gets his boot up. Daniel, sir, from Daniel Miraculous. Jared Rowling's in the ring, break the pin. And here comes the Wolverine. Have you ever seen a real Wolverine? You know, the Wolverine and the Wolf is not related at all. If you, look at, if you look at a Wolverine, I, well, you know, some people, I'm not saying, you know, I'm sure they're dumb. I'm not saying that. But some people actually think a Wolf and a Wolverine are related. The Wolverine is real short and low to the ground, but they are very deadly. Those animals can, I mean, kill. They can kill bigger things. The thing about the Wolverine is like, the look of them doesn't really intimidate you. You get in there and you feel what they get. It's a perfect example of what Tavis is. Small stature, but boy, does he hit hard. Look at that. Right back to that back area. I see the thing about it. Going back to that Wolverine. You've seen X-Men. Logan. Logan, they call him a rabbit Wolverine. I mean, he's short to the ground. I mean, but he's very deadly. And that's like Tavis. That's why they call him a Wolverine. He might not be big in stature, but goodness, he will kill you. Oh, look at this! Double team move there. Right back to that back. Oh, but Q. Oh, look at that. Michael barely able to get that, his shoulder That's what I was just going to say, because he barely got the arm up. It was almost over. It was almost a three. Almost three count. Q picking up the carcass of Michael Clark. Grabbing him by the hair. I like to see you versus Tavis in the ring, Smith. Me versus Tavis. Yeah. You think you can handle Tavis? Twice his size, but uh, to be honest, I'd be scared to do that. Oh, look at this guy get it! That's bring back elbow from Michael Clark. And I think that took every energy that Michael Clark had left. Every piece of energy he had left. Looking emotionless in the on the floor here. Michael Clark, I mean, his stamina is definitely is is done in this match. He's took a tremendous amount of punishment from these three on the opposite side of him. He needs to get to Tank or Jared and get the tag. Look at him, he's inches away. And then tag there to Tab, and then attack the Tank. Here come the machine versus the Wolverine. Lines there, knock Tavis down. Tavis gets back up on his feet. It's a missile fire combination here. Bro. Tank, wait a minute. Oh, Open that code record, but, oh kick, kick to the back of the tank. Head. Hold on, push him away. My goodness, it is on, it is on fire in this building. Dave Records breaks count. Here comes Jared Collins. X marks the spot, and the X is on down here right now. Ron's gonna hit that front base with DDT. Wait a minute. Oh, that poor Larian. He just knocked his head off with that clothesline. My goodness. 
Jared's mom is gonna have her a she's gonna have one of those little yard notes. A yard note. <laughs> Dead house in Cordova. Uh oh, oh. Good. 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 shoulders take catches of them. Gonna hit him with that pedigree. Oh, good. gets all of it. Wait a minute. He's beginning about ten. Taking this around him, around him. Smart move. Yep. He's gonna hit a pedigree on him. Hey, oh, get him, kick! Get him, kick! What the? Oh my goodness, Mike Clark and Q are just going to the limit. Ladies and gentlemen. Your winners, Tank, Jared X. Rawlings, and Michael Clark. So did Q just super kick Tank on top of Tavis? My goodness, I don't think he, I don't think he realized what he just did. No, I think it's setting in now. I think it's setting in now. So Q's own Venom kick pretty much gave awesome his match. team the loss, right? The damage may be done to Tank, but. Damage to his win loss record. Well, I think affected. I think Spencer, we just learned something in this match. Sometimes the snake can turn things around, but it can backfire on him, and the snake can be bending himself. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we thank you for joining us tonight. This definitely is far from over between these three men. Jared and Daniel have a story that hasn't been closed. Michael Clark and the Wolverine Tavis story is far from closed. And the Black Mamba Q and Tank. As long as they're on the path for their BCA championship, they'll never end. Ladies and gentlemen, we thank you. My name is Mr. Brooks, the BCA Commissioner. I'm here with Spencer Beretta. Thank you for watching us wherever you are on your device. We appreciate you. Spencer, anything you want to say? Thank you all for watching. First we were just robbed. What? Thank people for watching. We were just robbed. And you're going to sit here and stand for this injustice? I am sick of this. You know what? You did it to yourself, guys. Shut up, Spencer. Did anybody ask you no damn questions? I'm making st- Hey, guys. I want to say... Thank y'all for hitting me uh, with the win this evening. I know it won't be easy, but I know I can do it with both of y'all here. See, Mike, that means a lot coming from you. You see, anytime I can get my hands on those no good, low down snakes like those three, you can always count me in. Same here. Now, I got, I got some advice for both of you. I encourage you guys to keep your guard up because this is the last show before Broken Heart. And knowing those three, Ain't no telling what they might be up to. Mm. Got a point. You got a point. Just ain't no telling.